In craniospinal radiation, gaps are left in the skin between adjacent spine fields to prevent overdose at the surface. Today, we'll learn how to solve a gap calculation, one method using a formula and the other without. Consider this example. Adjacent PA spine fields are matched at 5 cm depth. Their field lengths are 20 and 28 cm at 100 SSD. Find the gap. The first method uses no formula, only simple geometry. First, draw a diagram of the setup. The soup PA field is 20 cm long, the inf is 28 cm long. Both are at 100 SSD and the prescribed depth is five. We want to find the gap separation on the skin. I always think of the gap as two sections, G1 and G2 split by the depth in the middle. Let's focus on the two triangles of interest here. This angle is congruent to this angle, so the sides of these two triangles correspond to each other. They are in the same ratio. This is the law of similar triangles. SSD is similar to depth. Half of L is similar to G1. To find G1, we can set up a proportion. Again, SSD corresponds to depth, and one half of the length corresponds to G1. Solving it out, you get G1 equals 0.5 cm. Let's do the same for G2. Again, set up your proportion. Solving it out, you get G2 equals 0.7 cm. To find the total gap, you just add G1 to G2, so you add 0.5 to 0.7, and you get 1.2 cm for your gap. Another way to solve gap calculations is with a formula. As you can see below, you can plug in the values, and again, it basically gives you G1 and G2. 1 half of 20 cm times 5 divided by 100 plus 1 half of 28 times 5 divided by 100. Solving it out, you get the same answer. Let us know which method you prefer in the comments down below.